Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding the stick. Playing Madden 20 with the 49ers. <laughs> Madden 20 49ers season. Yes. Madden <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I do too. <laughs> that, that, like that might be Snake. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then I can just let them know what you really No, nah, man. <laughs> if you ain't been watching long enough, you'll yeah, know. Yeah, right. I, I feel like we oh. need. I feel like we need some memetries for our day yeah, ones. Yeah, but I, dude. It's like Pusha T said: "If you know, you know." So now this offense. Fat me when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I do that because you hate it. <laughs> like, I'm just going to look at you and be like, dang, Jonas. <laughs> you, 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 you was paying attention. <laughs> if you know, you know. I know you do. <laughs> You've been studying the game. <laughs> oh, we need some memes? <laughs> yeah, I feel like meme tree for our day ones are good. I mean... We, we've had some memes that have come and gone. Yeah, we have, Ring, man. Ring, that bell. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> during, during, uh, during Red Dead. Ring, a ling, a ding, that bell. This Oof. running back has got ridiculously good. Well. He's just, like, breaking tackles. He had 200 yards last game. He's unbeatable. He's stupid. He's unbeatable, man. Joseph, when's the last time you ever drank from a water fountain? <laughs> I was literally going to ask you the same question. Were you? <laughs> the I beat the you exact to the park. same way I was going to word it. Yeah. yeah. Psychics. We are connected, um, connected at birth. I drank from a water fountain. Well, with all this, like, virus spreading going around. I don't, I don't know about all that. What are, you, what are you talking You can't catch it from a okay, water fountain? Coronavirus? Well, okay, look, obviously, neither one of us has drank from a water fountain in quite some time. I do sometimes when I'm out, dude. Like, do I'm, you? I'm real thirsty. <laughs> yeah, what are, you, what are you looking at me? Like, trying to... S <laughs> really? Like, when you when you would go to volleyball and stuff? Oh, they don't have water fountains there. Well, where are you encountering these water fountains in the wild, <laughs> is my first question. Um, at, well, when I used to work in the office at work, they had water fountains. They didn't have the, the freaking cylinder. Yeah, they have the both. They, no, they have like they have actual ice machines with a water thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a water, like you. It looks like a soda fountain, like a soda fountain. No, so a pot machine, but it water comes out of it. So wait a minute. They have these contraptions that dispense ice and water. Yes. They have the giant cylinders. No, they don't have the giant cylinders. They don't have the those. No. Oh, and they have water that. fountains, and your preferred method was to drink from the water fountain. Because I'm trash. <laughs> Speaking of, I called you trash. I, no, Lord. no. I mean, I, I I'm not saying that I would go there. I mean, I have stopped by and took a sip of water because I was parched. Okay. Like I'm not like let me get to the fountain because I'm thirsty. That's not how. That's not how it works. <laughs> you were just like the water fountain was there. Yeah, you're right. And I'm walking by. I I need some drink. There's nothing wrong with drinking from a water fountain. <laughs> you either. make it seem like that. Right, well, <laughs> only because it's been years. Because I think they're unsanitary as hell. Oh, they are. Okay. And I don't I don't try to drink out of them. It's just a lot of times if I'm thirsty and there's one, like, you know what I mean. It's like if you can't buy a drink. But uh, yeah. I was gonna actually talk to you about this because I and I totally forgot about this. For twenty dollars a month, mm -hmm. you can get three of those big ass jugs delivered to the house and rent the little the contraption that keeps it cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I was like looking that up, and I know you like to drink good water. For how much a month? Twenty bucks a month. Oh no! But it's it's that's fifteen gallons of water. Fifteen. What do I look like over here? What am I? How? Where am I going to put fifteen gallons but of water? But it's three of those big jugs that go inside one of those cooler machines, and then there would just be like a spout. You wouldn't have to even keep it in the fridge. Yeah, but I don't drink twenty dollars worth of water in a month. If you went to the grocery store every week, you would. You no. buy like you buy like at least five every time, and you go through. That's like five dollars. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's five like, times it's, four but twenty. But part of that is running the contraption to get the water. Yeah, it keeps it cold out of the refrigerator. I feel like if I was running an office, but I don't need fifteen gallons of water. I go through. I buy like seven. I go through fourteen in a month. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but still, it's less cost. And you wouldn't have to leave the house. They bring it to you. I mean, that's fair. But you know, they do have like a. Uh, 
that you can have your groceries delivered too. Yeah. Now, so. No, I just which I've honestly been thinking about. I was like, about I was like oh, I should mention him to that because that's really not that expensive. I think the only thing is, I think they only deliver every other month. So they bring six of those five gallon jugs. Where the hell we would put them in the house? I have no idea. Yeah, just lined exactly. up against the wall. They're all like, y'all like water, huh? Juice boys. <laughs> Dude, dude, oh, we we could, we could purify our juice. <laughs> we could put we could put five. How many packs would we? Have? <laughs> Just fill the pack. Fill up one of those ten gallon cylinders. <laughs> Just pack it to crystal light. It's like shaking. Yeah, you gotta shake it up. You put it. In Yo, jug. now that's not a bad idea. Like that raspberry iced tea we drink. Yo. dude. put ten packets in. That would be worth. That we would we would always have. Raspberry haze tea. Cold. Always cold. People will come over and be like, "Why is that brown?" <laughs> and we'll be like, did you put? Did you put juice in the, the company would like make us pay for the GD thing because all the grime would be inside. Yeah, I know it. the sediment. What are they? Look at. Oh, they're taking a picture, dude. Oh, the dab, dude! Look at that. I've never <laughs> seen that in all the games we played. <laughs> They did a sideline down. I guess they're yeah. still adding some new stuff to this game. Yeah, or I usually just skip that part. But yeah, dude, we can get five gallon juice boy boxes. It's not a bad idea, <laughs> actually. Not, I wonder if they would frown on you putting artificial sweetener inside the inside yeah. the juice container. I feel like you probably are to some degree uh responsible for the machinery. Well yeah, well I think like they reuse those jugs and if they have like juice residue on the inside they're like, they're like, excuse me, sir, why is there orange residue inside your purified water bottle? Uh, what, what happened was... Well, we microwave spaghetti in it. <laughs> yeah, we ran out of Tupperware. <laughs> we figured it would work, right? That's, that's how it always happens, And, and then man. the one question would be like, how did you get that in the microwave? <laughs> it wouldn't be about... Don't worry about that. Yeah, we got it in there. Don't you worry. <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea, man. All right, so... Jonas, you, you you stated that you don't have a problem with water fountains. I'm gonna have to say I won't either, but only like desperate times for yeah, desperate like, measures. Yeah, like yeah, if there's no store and you're super thirsty, like if you're at, like at the zoo and you're walking around, like uh, <laughs> like those out, see now that's the worst. That's place. a different level. <laughs> it's like everyone's spitting on it. That's a different level of disgusting. Because I was just gonna bring up like an indoor, like in a building. Water fountain, not so bad. And a hospital water fountain, not so bad. But those outdoor, like in the park or at the zoo water fountains. <laughs> Extra. Well, you know there's a We're, thousand kids doing it, too. And the water's not even cold. It just spouts this <laughs> It's a little stream. You got to basically <laughs> suck it out of the nozzle. Ah! <laughs> and, yeah, they have this little mouth guard thing. That, I guess that's what it is. It has, like, a little self-contained awning yeah. that just hangs over it. Oh, yeah, that just keeps all the freaking parasites out of it. <laughs> I just remember kids used to deface those things, dude, put gum in them. Yeah, dude. So they would squirt you in the face, dude. It's dude, funny. Water fountains are gross. Yes. Now that you've, like, pointed it out to me, they are. I'm never going to use this one again. <laughs> freaking man they're so nasty oh ew <laughs> in the out, they never clean them i've never once in my entire life ever seen a janitor walk over to the freaking water fountain and wipe that bee down with some sanitizer of something oh they should man, they don't and i think about like high school and how many or junior high and how many times i've used the water fountain there Oh, and there was always just the one that there was one water fountain that was cold, and there was the one that would just spit out just hot. Oh, look at that! Uh, yeah, dude, it would be like hot garbage. It was just hot room temperature, and it tasted like stone. Ugh! <laughs> like, like it just ran over a pile of gravel before it came through Ugh. there. All the sediment coming out—that's where the flavor comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamins and minerals. Yeah. Let's get some minerals in that gravel pile in the back. Yeah, man. Like, it's, it was a good invention, I guess, but it has definitely lost some of its Well, I mean, it's like, it was good for its time. It, it makes you kind of think, man, because, like, uh, like, people weren't so stupid that we didn't think, like, this was a bad idea, right? Like, yeah. it wasn't going to just spread disease. Well, I Did mean. Did we just not know in the 80s? Sometimes 90s? inventions fit purposes. Like, at one point, people thought the 8-track was a great invention. And then, like, people are like, yeah, we got music. We can listen to music. It's not. It's, it's a lot easier. To, and then they're like, 
you can fit no songs on it. And they're like, oh, here's this cassette tape with two sides. Okay, but that's more like based on like technology. Like that that was the latest technology. So it was a water fountain though. That was that was a hot technology at one point. I, yeah, you know what? I guess you I guess you got a point. <laughs> at one point. I guess you got a point. like, oh my god, you hit a button and water shoots out. I've been drink. using this well the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> right. it's all I don't have to go out to the well. <laughs> right. I guess you have a point, man. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but it, it faded fast. It had a very short window. Of yeah, years. man. Think about the guys who put all their money in the big water fountains out there, man. Well, I mean, I'm sure their patents have wore out. <laughs> Nobody's jumping on those, huh? Nah, dude. They got a, now it's like public domain. It's mm-hmm. like uh, once it hits like 75 years, you got to like just let people so, use it. <laughs> I don't understand it, man. It just it it's 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 effing gross to me. But yeah, there you go. Uh, so I don't mind refrigerators with oh, the I would hope not. with the <laughs> with the ice like the ice. Oh, that's sensor. dude. I love that. But if they got jank shaped ice, it's over. What do you mean jank shaped dude, ice? The half moon ice is stupid. Oh, like the ice we have? Yeah, but like ours is all right. Because really? Okay. Our, here's why ours is all right. Ooh, we almost got safety. Ours, it, it's not, it's half moon, but it's still like pliable. Sometimes those half moons are like so hard you can't like bite them. <laughs> no, that's not like. Are you just going in there and biting ice? Dude? Yeah, dude, I chew on ice. Do you? I, yeah, that's why, yeah. Yeah, dude, I like it. <laughs> what, are you, what are you? No, I don't. I can't even tell if you're serious. I am. No, I like. I like chomping on ice. It's very, Nothing wrong with that. I hear it's bad be, for you. I need to be able to break it with my GD teeth if it feels and like that ice is okay. I haven't like. Okay. I don't take like raw ice cubes. They almost sacked me every plane and finally did for safety on the last one. I don't, I'm not eating raw ice cubes out there. What do you mean raw? I would versus cooked freezer. ice cubes. Straight from the freezer. I'm okay. going straight from my freezer in my mouth. But I will chomp them once I, like, have a drink and drink Oh, uh, okay. So, right. like, I used to, like, if I would go to, like, the movies, yeah. I'd be like, fill that cup up with ice. And they'd fill it up, like, all the and they fill, put the put the pop in, and uh, then I would drink the pop and eat all the ice the rest of the movie. Oh, uh, okay. That's, I can see that being a treat. To a <laughs> it is a extent. treat. You're right. I, mean, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I, I enjoy ice. It there's d- d- definitely the half moons that you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I don't like the ice that we have because I feel like it's too big. It's more than a mouthful. Yeah, oh, I feel you. Like, yeah, I can't fit all of that in there. Yeah, yeah. You know what ice I love? That Those little frost pellets. I was just going to get... Are those the ones that are like... They're like, they're like, they're like little cylinders? Turds. They're like rabbit turds, essentially. Yes. But they're like almost... They're not solid. It's almost like it's frost. Yes. Yeah, those are the best It's ones. like the difference between like an ice cube or like a slush. It's like right in between. Yeah, right. It's, it's like hardened slush. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's good. And those hold... The, I don't know if it's like a surface area thing, but those hold the beverage... Yeah, Better. so everyone's like a flavor crystal. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's good. Like 7-Eleven has a lot of those. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Speedway had those. Oh, dude, yeah. I would just be like, fill that, fill that ish up to the top with the with the frost, get some Diet Dr. Pepper in there or something, drink the pop real quick, and then just eat the ice. Then you I've get definitely ice been there. That's a whole different <laughs> story. And I'm just like, ah, I'm like a old man with a nice headache <laughs> still happens facts really you still getting cold I, I guess i don't eat enough cold food for that uh every time i eat ice because i'm a glutton and i'm uh and i can't stop myself from just shoveling it into my mouth wow I'm just like, <laughs> oh! or when i eat popsicles i'll just eat like seven popsicles and like i get like oh is that is that like your pica are you compelled <laughs> i'm like concerned about your health and sh- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I what? Is that like? Have you ever had your iron levels checked? My could be, level? could be, yeah, yeah, could had, be pica. I've had some tests. All right, you good, fam? You yeah, gonna, you gonna live? Yeah, I hope. All right. Yeah, as far uh, as far as I know, man, I've been I've been going to I've been paying doctors to tell me I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Shelling right. out hundreds of dollars. There so you go. go. You good? I'm like, all right. thanks, bro. Love it. <laughs> all right, I'm glad to hear. Yeah, man, as far as I know, I mean, I'll die someday. Whether that's tomorrow or in 40 years, we'll see. We stay your ass away from those uh, fountain machines. No, not the loose women, the water fountains. I couldn't think of the name. 
<laughs> I'm not really like afraid of getting sick because I don't get sick often. Yeah, I don't either. But when I do, I get I usually it usually hits me pretty hard. Yeah, we've both been sick since we've lived together. Yeah, it's been a while for me. Yeah, um, but I had I had one of the worst sicknesses I've had in a long, long time since since we've lived here. Yeah, I remember you like sleeping for like long. It hours. was like three days in a row. I, like I work from home and called off work. That's how sick I was. Yeah. Like if you work from home and call out, you're sick. Like you're real sick. <laughs> I'm sure my boss was like, "Oh, is he dying?" Because like he works from the house. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like some you know. There's being sick. You're like, I have a cold. I have a sore throat. I don't feel good. That's great. If we're working from home like that, perfect. I feel like crap, but I don't talk to anybody. I'm not around people, whatever. But then there's that sick where, like, you can't really stay awake because you're so sick. You have to sleep because when you're awake, you just feel like you're dying. That's what I felt like. I've been there. Yeah. I have. And you're like, nope. Then you wake up and you're just like, I hate life. I think when I was that sick, I was sitting out here in the living room in the dark in a hooded sweatshirt. I do and remember you, that. And you walked out and I had like blankets and you walked out and it was the middle of the night and you're like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I, I come out in like shorts and a t-shirt, <laughs> sweating. It's like, it's like 3 a.m., Pitch black, I'm wrapped up in a hood sweatshirt, jogging pants, and like three blankets, like so cold. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna get some water. <laughs> Are you dying a little bit? I'm okay though. Yeah, that was bad. That was the sickest I've been in a long time. Wow. Yeah, I can't, I can't even recall the last time I was sick, man. I try to stay away from other people's and what's germs. Up, and what's weird is like you work in an industry where like there is sickness around. Yeah. And that may be part of the reason. Like, I think, like, people who do that build up more about... <laughs> definitely immunity. have some immunities with what I've been exposed to. Yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> I have definitely been exposed to some stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. It, um... Yeah, it's, uh... It's interesting how that works. Not to mention, like, up north, I used to get sick all the time, man. Ugh. I think it's the humidity. Me too. I think it's, yeah. like, breathing in the wetness in the lungs. I think yeah. it helps me and you both here. Because it's so dry, I think not breathing in all that moisture helps. Part of the reason I don't think I'm leaving anytime oh, soon. Me neither, dude. All right, but that was all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, um, tell us your favorite pizza toppings in the comments. Mm, when's the last time you ever drank from a water fountain in the toppings? Yeah, put that in there, too. In the, in the toppings, in the comments. And if you're in school, you better not say yesterday. Because <laughs> it was Saturday. But for Jonas... And TNT Dynamite! We are